All right. So, I'm going to check out this quest right here with this guy. Ah, Master of the Jin, you're here. I just so happen to have a task for you, an urgent one. Slow down, I'm listening. Yeah, slow down. We'll help once you tell us what's happening. A shipment, a uh, shipment, a uh, uh, shipment of goods has g gone missing. You lost three shipments of goods? N no, 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 just one. I contracted an outside party to sh ship us some ahen an 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 whatever blessing, but a, a long time has passed and it's still not here. It might be the d doing of those n northerners. Might be retaliation because Babel is always searching for searching them for traitors. Okay. I am terrible at doing four stutters, so I'm just going to read it as is. Ever since Adderfi and Azric left, the Northerners have been much more active. Alright, I am done with dallying. The caravan delivering the Anahitian Blessing's last known location is in this region, according to our scouts. I hope you can help me find the goods, or at least find any clues to what happened to the caravan. Sure, I'll give you a hand. A caravan can't just disappear on its own, right? Sounds like they got robbed by some bandits. Thank you. A thousand thanks. Please accept this meet as gratitude for your service. Wow, thanks. You're so kind. Or, you're too kind, excuse me. Over here. A cracked, empty jar lay there, not yet swallowed by the sands. Looks like it was thrown aside not long ago. Look! That jar is still poking out from the sand. The goods lay scattered along the trail. Let's see what we can find along this trail. Yeah, they might have some other stuff behind... Oh, they might have left some other stuff behind them. Let's keep going. Look, what's that over there? Illusion shattered! No, my sword! An empty, broken box lay abandoned, toppled over by the roadside. Huh, this box must have come from... or must have been from the caravan. Look, it even has the tribe symbol on it. Won't be hard to ambush someone here. Yeah, this place looks dangerous. It looks like they stole even the largest of the goods. They moved all the valuables but left the containers. Huh, Paimon guesses they must they might have a lot of people, but don't seem to have the tools to move the crates. Or perhaps this is a trap. A trap? Do you mean they left these empty boxes on purpose? To lure people to them? To lure us. Ah, Paimon's game goosebumps. Then do we really need to keep going? If you're scared, you can always turn a turn and head back. The bandits might still be nearby. Oh, the way you say that isn't making Paimon feel good at all. But since you're not scared, maybe we should keep going. Shine down. Uh -huh. Time to act. 
They left absolutely nothing intact. Oh, Paimon's getting mad. These hilly curls really know how to break stuff. Wait, it doesn't look like it was destroyed by the hilly curls. Wait, the raid might not have happened here. But the hilly curls placed their camp right in the middle of the road. Look there. If they block that spot off, wouldn't it be easy to rob someone? Look, no cart in the camp either. Yeah, if the hilly curls raided the caravan, they would have taken the carts apart on the spot. But we're not seeing any carts or any parts. I want things that's kind of weird. Let's follow the road a while longer. Alright, but if it wasn't the Hilly Curls, then who? Huh. Look over there. It's a rug. A rolled carpet that's still in good condition. The symbol of the tenant tribe is stitched into it, while ominous blotches dotted surface. The rug... how strange. Huh. Wow, that rug looks expensive, but why did it just get left there? Maybe there was a struggle or a fight over it. Huh. Yeah, Paimon thinks she can see that happening. Caravan and the robbers had a fight here. Some goods got damaged during the battle while other perfectly fine ones were left aside in the ensuing chaos. Very astute, Paimon. He <laughs> Paimon's the best. And then the caravan and the robbers fought while running all along the way, fighting and running and fighting. That's why all these boxes and jars are scattered everywhere. Hmm, Paimon think th thinks that's a good deduction. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. The trash should have been discarded after the bandits got to them. The things they left behind were to ensure they moved fast and light. I'm going to say the trash goods should have been discarded after the bandits got to them. Really? Because we didn't see any signs of struggle along the way. So that's how it is. Still, Paimon's theory was close. Like, 90% accurate close. Huh, Paimon can't help but feel something's wrong. Time for Paimon to use her intuition. Don't you think these clues are too neatly laid out? It's like they were placed in a line to lead us over somewhere. Possibly, but we don't have enough evidence for that. Hey, look, the cart's right there. Paimon can barely recognize it. The lieutenant markings there, it looks a bit blurry. Alright, we can close this case now. It's elementary. What happened was that the caravan was ambushed and the goods were all stolen. Let's go back to Yethten and tell him what happened. Right, let's head back. Pardon me, but I beg you both to still your stride. Huh? Who are you? We are friends of Jet's. You have been working hard. Oh, well, Jet's friends are our friends. We were just finishing up. Let's head back together. Ha, huh. no need to be so hasty. And guess shouldn't be so harried to depart. Paimon, wait. There's something not right with them. Jet requested that you stay in the desert for a time. She commissioned us to come here and give you the hospitality you deserve. It would be cruel of you to disappoint her kindness. Paimon, hide. Uh, all right. I hear everything! Illusion shattered! Witness the power! Confess! Wow, that was close. Luckily, we're good at fighting. Took them down in no time flat. Thanks for your hospitality. Why is that 
every bad guy wants to mess with us? Is it because he looks soft? They claim to be sent by Jet. Do you believe them? I don't think Jet has a reason to do this. But she might be wrapped up in something big. Yeah, Paimon doesn't think Jet would do this either. But what should we do now? The people who just ambushed us knew Jet, which means that they must know people amongst the tenant as well. I mean that if we return to the tribe, we'll catch their attention. Paimon doesn't think they'll just let this go. And Jet... Paimon's not suspecting her, but the people who tried to kill us might be hiding within the tribe. Maybe we should leave for a while. If we leave, Jet might be in danger. Yeah, we can't just leave her. Let's go back first, but don't mention Jet. Huh? But... Huh. <laughs> Paimon's not scared. If you've decided, then that's how we'll do it. You're back. What, something strange about us coming back? No, I'm very pleased that you have returned, esteemed master of the djinn. Right, about the caravan. How did your investigation go? The caravan got ambushed. The goods have been taken. Curses. It's those traitors again. I just know it. Traitors? Those traitors. Those northerner colluding dogs. Aside from this, what else have you uncovered? We were ambushed by the Aramites. Yes, just as we finished investigating what happened to the caravan, the Aramites showed up to ambush us. They also said they also said that they knew us. Right, that too. If that's the case, then they might be onto you as well. Here is your payment. Please see Matriarch Babel about this matter as soon as possible. Right. Farewell, esteemed master of the djinn. Greetings, it seems, Master of the Gym. Is there something you need? Yif Yifton's caravan got raided by some of your traitors. Chili. Well, it's not unexpected. Northerners from the Snowlands have long tried to push into our lands. The treacherous among our number fell prey to their words and turned against us. These traitors have been causing havoc for quite some time. Sporadic but persistent raids and robberies have been happening since a few months ago. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to interrupt. Please continue. The traders have also taken an interest in us. Yeah, just as we finished investigating the caravan, thugs from the Aramites ambushed us. In that case, how vile. It appears that, with Adrophy and Azric both gone, these wild dogs see this as high time to bare their teeth. How about this? Please wait here and rest. I will handle all matters regarding your safety. G is still outside fulfilling her duties to the tribe. I will have her work alongside you to get to the bottom of this matter. And before that, I will do my utmost to find the assassins who sought you dead. I ask for only patience in return. Uh, one more thing. The bad guys that jumped us seem to know us. They might be from the tribe. It's not impossible, but it matters little. With your privileges as esteemed guests, you will be protected. So long as you stay here, no one can hurt you. If anyone of the tenant seeks to trouble you, Whoever they are, they will face judgment at my hands, under my authority as a matriarch. Please rest. I will pursue the matter of the traitors to the fullest of my ability. Additionally, I will keep watch for Jet on your behalf. I will notify you the moment she returns. Alright, thanks a lot, matriarch Babel. The courtesy is unneeded. Let's talk to Babel again. Esteemed Master of the Jinn, 
There is an urgent matter that I need to inform you of. I was so shocked when I first heard about it. Oh, where should I begin? Huh? What is it? Jet. Jet. She's... I hate to say it, but she could very well be a traitor to the tribe. Huh? Do you have any proof? Sometime earlier, we caught a northerner who knew Jet. He told us that Jet had revealed to them the location of all our outposts. If all our outposts are disposed, the actions of the entire tenant tribe in the desert will be utterly restrained. What's more, according to him, Jet has already sent out several batches of assassins, her very target being you, who possesses the djinn. Huh? Isn't that... Ahem. If his confession's true, Jet should be active in their camp. And according to our recent reports, the are indeed close, closing in on our tribe. They have bypassed our sentries and set up camps at a dangerous close distance. Those are signs, not proof. In the desert, no one should take any ominous sign lightly. The excessive speculation of Jet as a traitor is just the worst inference I have made based on the existing signs. Plus, she hasn't been back for a long time. I'm really worried about her. I think she got captured. Please forgive me for making such a speculation, but I generally think of her as my own daughter. No matter what she might have become, it is the consequences of my own mistake. Therefore, esteemed master of the djinn, I beg you, regardless of the path she has chosen, bring her back to me. Whether she lives to prove her innocence or has paid for her missteps, tell me where she might be. So the jet really betray us? I'll mark the location of the Northerners' forward operating base on your map. Just keep looking in this direction, you won't miss it. I will find her, figure everything out, and bring her back. Sorry, it all happened so suddenly. It's hard even for me to accept such a twist. Please bring her back to me and let me talk to her, will you? Don't worry, we will. Is that actually there? That is actually there, so I'll just go up here. According to Rao marked for us, we should go a little further. <gasps> and there's the camp. Keep up. <gasps> I'll uproot you. There is no escape! Our negotiations with the tenant, tenant tribes will have been completed. We have made some gains, especially with regard to the tribes people of the desert encampment who are willing to hand a young woman over to us for experimentation. This alone might be considered sufficient progress. Our other objective, however, cannot be achieved through dealings with this tribe, so we shall cease negotiations at this point and prefer several internal personal transfers. Secrecy must be maintained at all times. We cannot risk raising an unnecessary commotion. The codes we use to confirm the identity of the units and personal being transferred are as follows. Remember them well so as to avoid any infiltration on the part of the tribe's people. Okay, the codes below have been blurred by water. Only some incomplete words remain. Okay, I'm actually going to take a piece of paper and note this down. I think I'll just do it on the back of one of these things I have for the characters, just so I don't have to get out another piece of paper. Okay. Mm, 
Gerardo Ice Cream Pierogi, they have mixed passwords from different times. Which one's the real password? Guess we have to try them one by one. Yeah, Pipemon has no better idea. And it looks like they've moved the location of their main camp. Hmm, this map looks way too ugly. Pipemon can only roughly make out the direction they went. Well, let's catch up to in the direction they left, shall we? I'm gonna collect these while I'm here. Might as well. Okay. Keep up. Empty wooden box which has not been buried by the sands yet. Obviously it was just recently abandoned and the owner should not have gone far. Apparently, these are military assets belonging to the Fatui skirmishers. It is unclear how they end up here. They are already filled with sand. Wearing these now must be extreme torment. It must be extremely tormenting. <gasps> An opened matchbox with the Fatui's delusion logo printed on it. Used matchsticks are scattered around it, not yet buried by the sand. One cannot help but wonder why the Fujitsui skirmishers would use this method to start a fire when they could simply drive elements. Who are you? Password. What was the one that we found again? Gerardo. Huh? Gerardo? What is that? Sounds like some fresh air freshener brand. Uh, hey, Illusia. Gerardo, does that ring a bell? I've never heard of it. Gerardo, nah. Is that the brand of the baby powder we use? Do you like someone who uses off-brand baby powder? The Mr. Charming Give Gref uses Gerardo. Using Gerardo? Am I a joke to you? Come on, I was just asking. Why are you so worked up? How dare you humiliate me and ask me to calm down? Am I someone who with such bad taste? Do I look like someone who uses Garado? Uh, alright, sorry, I apologize. Come on, stop fighting over some baby powder anyways. What did you just ask? Oh, hold on a sec. Yes, you asked about the password. Uh, I do have a vague impression. Let me check the password list real quick. Hmm, this is the attitude that my colleagues should have. Hey, you there, do I look like somebody who uses Garado? Or Gar... Gar... Whatever. Eh? No. See, I told you, I only use Fontaine brands. And listen, if you are looking to buy any skincare or hair products, my advice is you all to uh, advice is all you're gonna need. Don't get yourself fooled by that stupid Gerardo. These brands always like to come up with names like that, but they can't even tell you why. They'll just throw fancy words around, pair them with fancy packaging, and boom, they toss their products onto the shelf and make big money. Money from us honest and simple folks. Hey, hey. Uh, Eve Griff, I found it. The Pastor Grotto was selected by Captain Zoya. It's, uh, her favorite puppy. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> it's a puppy! <laughs> I I've never used Gerardo, actually. I know, I'll keep it a secret. Thanks, man. <sighs> but, well, this password has expired now that we've now that we just changed it. Now it's... Well, it's a little embarrassing, huh? It's that little thing. What? Captain Zoya's cat? Um, No, no, it's another little cute animal. So soft and as far as a cat, but smaller and more docile. I guess it's bigger than a mouse, but smaller than a ferret. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't the time for riddles. We still have business to do. That's right. And we, too, have serious work on our hands. Sorry, that was the correct password, but unfortunately it's no longer valid. Ding, ding, ding. You're out. Both of you. Then, what was Captain Zoria's order again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Those who fail to match the password shall be executed on the spot. 
Ugh, so sorry, friend. I can't let others know what I've said. That I've said. That I've used Coretto. Yeah, we are really sorry. Wait, what do you mean you've used it? Shut up and fight. And shut up and fire. Let's nip that in the butt. This isn't good. Ha! Keep up. Uh, I think I read this once already, so I'm not gonna read it again. Stop. Please stop pitting me. I will give you whatever you want. Hmm. These are all daily supplies for camping. Looks like they were taken from a nearby tribe. How many these know their clue? Traveler, let's ask this guy. Wait, what do you want to know? I'm not telling you anything. I don't know anything. Name. Tell us your name. What? She's Paimon and I'm your worst nightmare. What about you? What? You can understand me. Yes or no? <clears throat> yes. Very well. Your name. Tell me. <clears throat> Aura State. Private Aura State Snezvik. I, I am terrible at pronouncing things. I really don't know anything. I just joined the Desert Expedition Team and I haven't even familiarized myself with the organization of Aura Forces. You literally can't get anything out of me. We haven't asked you anything. Jet, does this name ring any bells? No. Liar, tell me everything you know, or you can be like your colleagues. He means that if you tell us, we'll let you go. Wait, 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 I'll talk. I'll tell you everything I know, but that's all I know. That girl named Jet, she, she's a monster. Hmm? They were going to bring her back in a cage, but she woke up and tore the cage apart. And then the guy standing closer to her? Oh my, poor Jeffrey. What happened? He, uh, changed. He became like, like festive confetti. Oh, she ripped him to shreds. Huh? You know, uh, sometimes bits of confetti would fly into your mouth and you just try to spit them out, right? But, but, well, when we realized something was wrong, we realized that those weren't confetti. It was Jeffrey. S -s Stop. Paimon's feeling sick. What happened later, I wasn't sure. It was all messed up. Thanks to our medic, Lieutenant Muldun, who acted fast and saved us all. Shoot her, shoot her, pull out your guns! He yelled like that, and we fired at her with all the electro bullets we had that were supposed to paralyze our prey. What? With guns and bullets? She could die! Someone already died, one of our people. Ugh, anyways. Long story short, she's alive and asleep. She fell into a deep slumber this time. But the thought of her waking up and going to rage again, I can't help but... <clears throat> is Jet really that scary? She's she's not a girl. She's a monster, a real monster. Calm down. You you know, I came to the desert to do this business. I can earn a lot of more, a lot of tax free more every day. <clears throat> I get to support my family. I mean, I can afford to send my sister to go to school and an esteemed one so that she won't be sent to the house of the hearth like me. Well, I'm not saying that the house of the hearth is terrible or anything, but I want her to have a brighter future, you know? She's an orphan too, just like me. She wanted to learn the violin or something. I don't really get those rich people stuff. Anyways, I was ignorant and naive back then. All I knew was that when I grew up and joined the Fatui, I would be able to make her wish come true. Sorry, my apologies. I must have talked too much. <clears throat> I wasn't trying to win your sympathy or anything. I just wanted to say that I did not join the Patui just to suffer like this. 
Wow. Is Jet so scary that she gets angry? Or so scary when she gets angry? Tell me where she is and you can go home. Thanks. I'll mark the location on your map. See this camp? It's a transfer station where we transport her. Even if she's not there, you should be able to find the next location. If possible, when you arrive at this camp, you can warn my colleagues and officers for me. Uh, just let them get rid of that name as soon as possible. Our mission has already failed and there could be no results. What about you? Aren't you going back? No, as long as they insist on capturing her alive, I dare not go back. We are better at beating people than passing on messages. I'll make sure everyone is well persuaded. Thanks. If that's all, I'll be leaving now. You can go now. Don't go back to the camp or we will beat you again. Alright, we should leave as well. Next camp isn't too far away. Keep up. Get off. Let me stop. Let me fucking. Ugh. I love how that fight triggered when I was forced into dialogue and couldn't move. Like, that's freaking annoying. Dudes. Let's nip that in the butt. There is no escape. Right. Witness the power. Get from me. Come with the forest. Hear everything. Yes. This is it. No escape. Who can't run from death? He tried to heal him. Bring it on. I'll uproot you. Okay, let's check this out. Kill him, send it, wrestling, stick or whatever. Make her image for our stumpter beast. Oh, wait, I think. Oh, no. Okay, there's nothing about Jet. Let's keep looking and see if there's any other files at the camp. That was fine, it didn't matter. I don't think this is it either. Nope. The preliminary tests on experimental subject in case that we have obtained a rather satisfactory active item. Initiate the transfer to of the homebound item we obtained from the deal with the tenant tribe right after dawn. Follow the exfiltration crew to the valley shown. Start is emotionally agitated and physically strong. Be sure to apply the specialized sedative formulation if signs of imminent awakening are detected. Transfer cold is Red Ball Express. Act with prudence in all things. That's how it is. They're taking Jet to the canyon. Hmm, it seems that someone in the tribe is working with the Fatui. That's why Jet... Ugh, who could it be? Maybe it's the same person who framed Jet for her rebellion. We must find Jet first and fast. You're right. After all, she's still in great danger. We must find her soon and figure out what's going on. Let's hurry. I think it was that guy that had the alligators. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Ow. 
I want those crystals. Oh wait, I should switch you back out. The campaign there we go. Let's get this one over here too while I'm at it. Solidify. Oh, it was up. Oh, here we go. Ha! Ah, it's so hot. Even a mist flower would melt in this heat. Uh, now that I think about it, it wouldn't. But you'll get what I mean. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, it was here. Oh, it does open. I hear everything. Illusion shattered. Huh? Oh, joy. Oh, joy. One with the farce. This is just like I went too far. Huh. Let's nip that in the butt. Huh. In shroud. Freshness preserved. God. Keep up. No, my son. Okay, so let's go down the elevator. Actually, first, we need to heal. Outlines your face. Jet, look at Sesh up there. Quick, let's go. I'm gonna wait until it heals. That's her. That's Jet. Is she injured? Blenda, or Bleda, Gareth, Isdar, Murder, Taya, Uzud, Tefri. Are those names? Hmm? You're here, Traveler. Sorry, I may have lost my head a little back there. And sorry for getting caught as well. That's not important. Are you hurt? Is it serious? Come here. I have something to tell you too.
Tell me that you still remember my mother's name. If so, prove it with your sword. What are you talking about? Tell me straight, tell me straight to my face that you aren't swickle traitors and then prove it. I'm not a traitor. What happened to you? If you're not a traitor, you'll prove it with your sword. I hear everything. Shine down. Witness the power of good luck. One with the forest. <laughs> now then, let's talk. I won't hurt you. Please, trust me. Whatever, I'm done with this. First it was Asterix, and now it's you. <sighs> Calm down, we were all deceived. He's right. You said that the Matriarch asked you to hunt us down because we betrayed the tribe. But you know what? That's the exact same mission she gave us. We didn't believe you betrayed us, so we were trying to find you and figure things out. I didn't betray the tribe, nor do I have any reason to do so. Matriarch Babel has witnesses on her side. Yeftin saw you deal with the Northerners, and Masara saw you moving around their camp. What? No way. She told us that you were spotted colluding with enemies of the tribe. So why did they say you betrayed us? What's going on? Ugh, Paimon wishes we knew. Anyway, calm down and let us explain. If it's Babel's design to put us against each other... Ugh, Paimon... Why will they, will they defend us or the matriarch? Think about it, Jet. Who do you trust more, us or them? Quiet down, would you, Paimon? This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Ugh, you finally put your weapons down. Let's not draw them again, shall we? You gave Paimon quite a fright. Don't be so optimistic yet, little one. She could still use her blades. Nerem Vesky, why are you here? I can handle this alone here. Thanks alone here. There's no need for you to pitch in. Uh huh. I call. I can tell you're doing pretty well, Jet. That's why Vesky and I are both needed to deal with the two of you. And there's also this little Jin. A oh, little Jin. I'm quite fond of her. Let's spare her. What? All right. Wait. Have Have you also portrayed the tenant? No. On the contrary, we're here to deal with traitors. I see. Who are they? That's not important. They used to be good people. Nayrim, Vesky, it is a pleasure doing a pleasure being your family. Now forgive me. All right, let's do this. Ha, I'll uproot you. There is no escape. No, my sword. <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> One thing after another. Illusion shattered. Huh? Let me leave you a verse. Let's nip that in the butt. One with the forest. I love how she still continues to try and attack them. Matriarch Babel sent them. What do you think they will do? You should take a look at this. An official platooing notification that seems related to the destination of troop transfer. A thick stack of letters and research papers detailing the condition of the human specimen. An official order left cast aside within the, bra the barracks. Hmm. So, she set the trap up long ago and was just waiting for us to walk right into it. Wait, why didn't you show me this earlier? We would have, but you didn't give us a chance to speak before drawing a weapon, and you wouldn't listen to reason either. Yeah, <sighs> I'm sorry. Thank goodness you're alright. Regardless, I have to get to the bottom of this. I need answers from her. Ugh, ow, ow. We still have time. You should rest. Yep, yep. There's no need to rush. 
We can return any time while Babel has to wait for us. Pemon's right. The initiative is on our side now. See, I knew she was sus! Hmm, you're right. I'm sorry that I didn't trust you. Alright, Jet, show us your wounds already. We'll help bandage you up. My wounds? Where? <laughs> That's right. They're everywhere. Seriously, though, I can keep going. Don't try to downplay it. Let us have a look. <sighs> okay, sorry. After carefully tending to Jet's wounds, you get some rest together with her by the campfire. Though no words are spoken, you both know what must happen next. Let's go. Let's find Babel and have her explain everything to us. Ah, it's Let's so see how hot. this goes. Even a mist there she is, probably waiting for Nehram and Resky. Yeah, now that I think about it, who it are they? But you get what I mean. <laughs> her assassins. Oh. We've fought them already. It's you, Jet. You're... you're back. Yes, we're back. Alive, I'm sorry. It does my heart good to see you return safely. You must be in need of some rest. Come, let me see what I can do. I don't need to rest. I need answers. Why did you lure me into the Northerner's trap? Why did you send other members of the tribe to kill me? Why do you want me dead? Calm down. Listen. Jet. Do you remember what I told you of how the Eternal Oasis is the Senate's hope and how it will bestow prosperous homeland upon us? Exactly for this cause that you pledged your loyalty to me. No? Now that the door to the Oasis is open to the Tenet, we must keep it a secret from outsiders. We must ensure that the Tenet are and will remain the most beloved children of the Queen of all Oasises. Only thus can we guide the other wandering desert tribes to gather by the oasis. And when they do, just think about it. Faith will allow us to reunite the scattered peoples of the desert and their resources. Under the guidance of the queen of all oasises, we will rebuild the nation of oasises in this desert with our own two hands. And once that is done, none of us shall ever bow, have to bow to those city ilk ever again. We will be able to build our own place palaces develop an academic system unique to us. We shall even challenge that god who's not but a mere caged bird. Of all those things that I told you, have you not listened to a single word? And I told you that it was impossible. The queen of all oasis is long gone. She's not in the oasis and there's no way we can resurrect her. Preposterous. Even as my most beloved daughter, how dare you spout such nonsense? Whether she's alive or dead, whether she can or cannot be resurrected, as long as the Eternal Oasis is under my control, all such things will be mine to decide. Yep, she was sus from the beginning! I was right! As shall be the so prophetess of the slumbering goddess, the tenet's law shall be divine edict, and the prosperity of the tenet shall be the preordinance of her divine oracles. But before all that comes true, Jet, it's not yet too late to repent. You are my most beloved daughter, and I wish to see you back on the right path. I... I don't understand. What do you mean? I have made my point clear. The one and only oracle demands absolute obedience. The only ones who haven't been blinded by the truth of the Oasis are you and your outsider friend. And this outsider remains the master of the Jinn, though the Jinn herself has long gone silent. We can gain control over her as long as we get rid of her master. Of the two of us, it is I who respects her ancient wisdom and power to rebuild the Oasis. It is more fitting, therefore, that we gain mastery over the Jinn. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You dodged the question last time, and that is understandable. But today you must make a choice. Tenant your home, or this outsider, this friend of yours. Wait, are you saying that you discussed how to get rid of me previously? Yes, but I refused. I mean, come on, you're my friend after all. I'm sorry, my child, but sacrifice is necessary. I shall not let his noble blood be shed in vain. On that, you can have absolute faith in me. As for you, Jet, you will become my successor, and one day you will be the tenant's new matriarch and Nabu Malakita's prophetess. 
Please consider my offer. My offer. The future of our home lies in your hands, my daughter. Merely ask it of me and I will give you time and one more chance. There's no need. I've made up my mind. <clears throat> um, are you sure you don't want more time? This situation is like super tense. Babel, I appreciate your help all throughout this time, though I'm well aware of the fact that I'm the daughter of a traitor and an outsider. I can't I couldn't be more grateful for your arrangements. The things that I've done for you, the voices I've silenced for you, the elders who disappeared. Elder Bleda, the one who liked crocodiles. Surely you remember him. He treated you like his daughter, and he doted on me as well. That's why I could plunge a poison dagger into this into his chest. Elder Guafa was such an eyesore to you, and you were that to him, too. And sadly, it was me in the end of the Sumter Beast's jaw. Again, and again, and again, and again. That was the first time I ever been scared to tears. I was so afraid of myself. I just remember how you wiped my tears away. Hold on, are you saying, how could that be? Wait, why are you bringing this up? Why do you have to bring, up, bring this up in front of them? Ah, and there was also Elder Taya. She was young and beautiful, and she was the head of the hunting party. A more capable competitor than you. She thought I adored her, but I was loyal to you, for I believed that you alone were my true family. I believed that you could wipe my tears away once more and give me a home. So I made her disappear in the desert. And what point of the... What is the point of this meaningless talk? You are the sole oracle of the goddess and my mother. Why should there be any secrets between us? If you wish to hear more, I can spell every one of my deeds to you. And to all of the tenants. Everything I've done for you, my mother, and for this family. I've done enough and I'm fed up with it. I won't betray the traveler. You're mad. How dare you slander me, your matriarch. You've forgotten your mother's name. Silence, I bid you be silent now, before it is too late. My mother's name is Uthera. Uthera Hindi. She was an honest person. Ah, so it was true. The traitor's daughter could never be anything but a half-grown mongrel, just like her father. Jabril and that outsider woman have already paid the price for the unforgivable things they did, and now their daughter repeats their errors. I should have seen that coming. Uf Uferia Hindi, that's her name, and it will be mine as well. Traitor! All my teachings were for nothing. May the desert mark your treachery. Enough, my kin. You know what to do. She has angered and saddened me. Uh, hold on. Don't go. Don't get so worked up. Didn't you just say that you see Jet as your daughter? Besides, Traveler has helped you so many times. Anyway, there's still gotta be a way to come to an understanding, right? Paimon, hide yourself. Keep your eyes closed and don't dirty your white clothes. <clears throat> Let's nip that in the butt. See? Huh. Shine. 
Going down. Let me weave you a first. Nip that in the butt. Witness the power of Gua. Rain out. You can't move it. And drown. Look upon us, Lieutenant, ruined by a single traitor. My tribe. My kin. My eternal oasis. Say goodbye to them while you still have time for some final words. Why? I once loved you so much. Why did you betray me and the tenant? Why? Because you're evil and I'm not. I see no reason why I must explain myself to you. <sighs> All right, Babel, let me tell you. It's because Traveler is my best friend. You wanted to get rid of him, but I refused to be part of it, and you decided to get rid of me, too. No, you're more despicable than that. You wanted to put us against each other. Only then did I realize that you are no prophetess, nor do you deserve to be favored by the Queen of Oasises. You're just a skip despicable schemer. You're the foolish one. <coughs> an outsider. You did all this for an outsider. I... We're your real family. You've destroyed everything. You destroyed the hopes of the Tenet. The hopes of all the tribes who wander amongst the gilded sands. Stop bigging, uh, bigging yourself up. I just pushed your tiny sand dune over. That's all. Really, I'm the one with questions here. What kind of mother refers her daughter to kill her friend anyway? Answer me! Some family you are. You tried to take my life. Abyss take your idiotic dreams of being a prophetess. Well, someone might fulfill it in your stead, but I'm sure they'll keep their hands cleaner than you did. Haha. <laughs> but I've already sent scouts to inform all the tribes of your betrayal. Soon, it'll be known that you're a traitor who tarnished her family's name. <coughs> all across the vast desert. Very soon. No one will ever accept you again. Never again will you find a safe place to lay your head. When did you do that? <laughs> right before you came back. You've always wanted us dead then. But you said before that you wanted to give me a chance to repent. Was that also a lie? I thought you'd soften and make it easier to get rid of you. You disgust me. All of you. Well then, I, I hope that's the end of that storyline. Where are we going? Sorry, I don't know what to say. We didn't know it would turn out like this. And now, there is no place for me in the desert either. The news will spread quickly along the trade routes. Soon, all Aramite groups will know that I'm a dangerous person, unworthy to be trusted, or whatever. I can't read that because it went too fast. But I still have you two. I can still trust you, can't I? You can always trust us, Jet. I know. It's just that I'm left with nowhere to return to again. But put another way, you're now free to call anywhere you wish home. <laughs> if it were me back then, I'd have thought you were mocking me. 
Ah, but you're right. You're right. Now, I'm the head of my own house. I'm no longer a servant bound by the name Tenet. I'm now the master of the name Jet. I reclaimed my mother's name. I'm free. Perhaps Jet will also become the name of a new clan someday. Maybe? I don't know. My mother's name gives me pride, and my father's name also holds many memories for me. As long as I remember them, even this barren desert, will they, that not be the home I was seeking all along? Now home need not be a case cause of anxiety for you. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'd love to go on more adventures with you. <laughs> Never mind that. You must have had enough of me after all the dangerous situations I put you in. But I can tell that you have your own journey ahead. A travel L of great solitude and a far grander objective, both of which are beyond what I can bear to bear or imagine. As for me, I've also set myself a certain path. You've seen it already. It's not going to be a peaceful one, and I won't drag you down with me. Come on, Jet. You're not dragging us down or anything. Anyway, if you ever feel tired or feel tr tired or want to take a breather, believe that our paths will converge one day. At that time, I might even invite you to go on a crazy adventure with me again. Phew. I've done talking. It's time to leave. There's nothing left for me here but heartbreak. You hug Jet before parting ways with her in the desert. She holds you tightly and notice that, and you notice that she seems to be holding back sobs. However, she quickly draws back and rubs her wet eyes before smiling broadly at you once more. May we meet again under a live, lovelier sun, she says. Jet, return, or Jet turns away and leaves. You see Ben Ben, only now emerging out of the ruined camp, hurry to catch up with Jet. For she shall surely... whatever that was. Okay, so let's go back. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Even a mist flower would melt in this heat. Now that I think about it, it wouldn't. But you'll get what I mean. <laughs> oh. Aha! That's the key! That's the key I was trying to get this whole time! Wait, does this mean that these crocs are now hostile to me? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Fifty thousand more. Fifty thousand. That seems the end of that. They're not hostile crocs. Well, we got that done. So, uh, that'll be the end of that. And I'll see you guys later!